What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be covering something a little bit different. This time I'd like to talk about my passion for audio gear and hi-fi sound. That's right, not only am I a crazed maniac with a knife, but I'm also that one guy that likes really stupid looking headphones. To be a calmer <laughs> video, not as much weird. Mm -hmm. Look, I will That's not, I all right, all right, all right. I am not gonna have you judging me right now just because you think that I can't do a calm video. Well, Brandon, let me tell you something. I can do a calm video, okay? Sponsored by Coca-Cola. And Coffee the Concept. <laughs> Before we jump into this, I just wanted to mention my awesome patrons. Thank you all so much for your support. It helps us make each one of these videos possible. If you'd like to join my patrons like Inverse and Turtle God on the private community Discord, please consider donating. Tiers start at just three bucks a month and every bit helps me feed Brandon a good diet of frozen blood worms. Yeah! This list is going to cover all of my headphones that I use on a daily basis, as well as my personal speaker setup in my office. The plan here is to cover my current setup and let you know what I use before I start to do more in-depth reviews on Hi-Fi gear as a whole. If you'd like to see more of that, make sure to subscribe as I have videos in the works already. I will be doing full reviews of each of the headphones mentioned here, but in this video, I'm gonna be keeping it pretty short and sweet. You can assume that if I like a headphone enough to have it in my personal collection, it's probably one that I recommend. With that out of the way, here's a merch plug. Wilhirsch.gay, buy a shirt. Please, Brandon gets hungry. Damn. First up, we'll start with the cheapest of my headphones and one that I think is a mainstay in any headphone collection. That would be the always amazing Koss Porta Pros. The Porta Pros are a wonderfully inexpensive dynamic headphone with shockingly good sound. I originally bought a pair just to try out and was absolutely blown away at how good they sounded for the price. They cost around 30 bucks and punch way above their weight class in terms of both sound quality and bass. If I'm in public, on a run, or just walking around outside and I wanna be able to hear my surroundings without sacrificing quality, this is my go-to choice. Also, these things have the wonderful side effect of making you seem like a time traveler from the 80s and that ought to count for something in my book. I mean, just look at these things. Uh, from there, I'd like to talk about my main daily driver headphone. This is a <laughs> this is a pair I keep on my desk whenever I'm playing games, listening to music, or researching stem cells to help fix Brandon. That would be the incredible Hi-Fi-Man Aria. No, you look silly. The Hi-Fi and Aria are probably my favorite all-around pair of headphones. They are a planar magnetic driver-based headphone, which basically means they use two sets of magnets to drive a very thin membrane made out of plastic and metal really fast. Planar magnetic headphones are awesome because they tend to deliver both better detail than standard dynamics without compromising on bass. As a matter of fact, because of the size of the driver in these headphones, which is basically this whole cup, they have fantastic bass. I'm talking like subwoofer strapped to your head kind of bass. It can push so much air that you can even feel the bass if you just hold the ear cups up in front of you. Now, thankfully it's not like bass boosted or anything. These headphones have a wonderful way of giving you all the bass you need when the song calls for it and none when it doesn't. And this is all balanced out by the extremely detailed top ends and mids, which help define the sound stage. Speaking of soundstage, these things are killers. It's actually the main reason that they're my go-to gaming set of headphones. With them, I can easily pinpoint an enemy's footsteps or hear where shots are coming from in the distance. Huh? Keep yes. driving, Ralph. Keep driving. Oh, driving. Oh, driving. Oh, oh, oh my god, I got a quad kill. Holy Will. shit. Also, their ability to reproduce bass means every explosion sounds nice and lively. Of course, I'm sure you've noticed by now that these headphones aren't exactly the peak of modern fashion design. In fact, you'll notice that almost all the pairs I own look a bit weird or dorky or super nerdy or an affront to God in fashion or if I see you wearing those things in public one more time, I'm going to have Well, you see, there is a simple explainable reason for all of this. It is a scientific fact that the worse a headphone looks, the better it sounds. Yes, that is correct. The best possible headphones always look hilarious and terrible no matter what. Even headphones that you may think look good will actually look silly once put on your head. This is a deeply studied scientific phenomenon with no natural explanation. Scholars have searched far and wide holding lectures and debates in search of an answer to no avail. That's just the way the world is. So applying that phenomenon, consider these silly headphones. I've told you how good they sound. Now. Consider these, the Jekyllin Floats.
These are the silliest possible headphones, and they probably sound freaking fantastic. I mean, just look at these things. They are so dumb, and that means they sound great. And I want a pair. I want it so desperately. I will sell Brandon to whoever can find me a pair of these hideous, disgusting monsters to place upon my beautiful head. Next up is what I like to refer to as my work headphones, the extremely accurate Ultimate Ears Reference Remastered. These IEMs are amazing and are my daily drivers at work. As you can see, they are custom molded acrylic with carbon fiber faceplates. Custom molded headphones are my favorite as they provide a perfect seal along with fantastic comfort all day, which is extremely important as when I'm working, I can be wearing these headphones for hours at a time. Speaking of work, if you didn't know, I'm actually a sound mixer for film and television. I've worked on a lot of big movies doing behind the scenes interviews as well as first unit mixing on various TV shows. That's the reason that I have this set in particular, for professional use on sets. You see, these IEMs tend to ruin music. That's right, if you have a track that you enjoy, these headphones will show you every flaw in that recording. That means that while these can make recorded music sound great, they often are not forgiving of the weirdness in your tracks. But that's the whole reason I have them. I use these explicitly for recording sounds and I want a pair of headphones that will show me everything I need to know that's wrong with my signal so I can fix it fast. The other reason these are perfect for work is because they block out almost all of the ambient noise. That way I can know what I'm hearing is exactly what I'm recording and nothing else. Okay, this next set is still an in-ear, but this time it's my personal fun set, not for work. These are the Empire Ears Valkyrie, and just look at that wonderful design. They are, of course, custom molded with lavender color acrylic and beautiful dragon scale faceplates. Also, the cable these come with is a nice copper and silver cable from Effect Audio, which feels extremely premium. This set is almost the opposite of the last set. Where the last tended to ruin music with the amount of detail, this set makes any song sound wonderful. They are extremely detailed, don't get me wrong, but they're much more forgiving than the previous with smooth mid-range and a lush bass. The secret to these headphones is the configuration of the drivers. It runs off of three main drivers, one dynamic driver for the bass, which acts like a big subwoofer, then one balanced armature for the mids. Balanced armature drivers are a fantastic choice here as they are very accurate and produce a really good tone at whatever frequency they're tuned for. Finally, we have the high driver, which is an electrostatic driver. Now, unlike most electrostatic earbuds, these actually have a step-up transformer inside the unit to provide higher voltage to that specific driver and give it the power it needs for those high frequencies. These three drivers work together in harmony to provide a wonderful listening experience across all the frequencies. Empire Ears essentially took each type of driver that was best at a specific task and then combined them into the perfect team. I take these headphones with me basically everywhere I go using the HPP 300 IEM case from Audio-Technica. This case keeps the headphones nice and protected and is an essential part of my daily carry kit. Overall, these are probably my most used pair and favorite IEMs that I've ever tried. Okay, this next set is actually one that I used to own, but gifted to my camera guy, Brandon. In fact, this has become my go-to set of headphones to gift to friends looking for an upgrade. That would be the Sennheiser 58X Jubilee. The 58X are some awesome headphones with great comfort, build quality, and sound. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see what Brandon has to say. All right, we're here. What's up, guys? I don't know if you knew, but I'm sentient and always watching. So yeah, the headphones. I shoot all of Will and I's videos. I do all the camera work and all that, but my day job is actually video editing. So I need a good set of headphones for that. And so these are absolutely great. They give a nice, clear, neutral sound. And I really like that they're open ears so I can hear like other things, like my little bird that I now have, who's gonna scream at me all the time, all day. Look, look, at, look at him go. Oh. Oh, these headphones are unbelievably comfortable. When you're editing for like six to eight hours a day, headphones can get really uncomfortable, but these I almost never have to take off because they're just an absolute breeze. They're really reliable in terms of their adjustability. They're incredibly durable. Like I've 
done some horrible things to these. Like I've accidentally like turned away from my chair and like pulled the cable and they've flown off. Sorry, Will, I don't think you knew that, but sorry. In terms of the sound, I would say it's very accurate. Whether I'm doing video editing or gaming or just listening to music, it gives a good representation of all those things. And for the price, you really can't get much better than this. Having good sound quality is a really, really important thing whenever you're balancing things and making sure levels are appropriate. So having these, which are really accurate and sound great, is really, really helpful whenever your boss is like, hey, this sounds weird. I'm like, no, I promise it doesn't. Get a new laptop, please. I have no desire to upgrade from these and I've been using them for almost a year. I don't feel like I need anything new for gaming, for music, for video editing. These cover every single base I can need them to cover. <laughs> All right, as we come to the end of the headphone section, we land on what is probably my favorite pair for detail retrieval and soundstage. That would be my custom ESP 95Xs from Koss. The 95Xs are an awesome and relatively cheap pair of electrostatic headphones from Koss and Mastrop. Electrostatic headphones are similar to planar magnetics in how they work. They use an extremely thin membrane stretched between two metal stators. This method has a lot of benefits. Because the driver has no magnets or metal, it can be way lighter and thinner than any other type. This allows it to move more quickly and change direction rapidly, producing the cleanest possible sound. The best way I can describe these headphones is that they just sound Real. Most headphones have a bit of a headphone sound, whereas these really make instruments sound real and present. Acoustic music like guitars and string quartets on these sound absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, there is a downside to electrostatics as they tend to have a problem with the bass because the driver can't move very far between the stators, so they can't really push a lot of air. Thankfully, the 95Xs do have plenty of bass at great quality, but it's not anything that will blow your mind like the Hyphaman Aria. The one thing they do great though is soundstage. As you can see, the ear pads on this thing are extremely stupid looking. And as we've learned, that means they must sound great. The ear pads are fully custom ones that I ordered made of leather and memory foam. The upshot of this is that the songs on this don't sound like you're listening to headphones. It sounds like the song is happening in the room around you, which is fantastic for a lot of genres. These are probably my favorite pair to turn to when I really wanna indulge in some music as they do almost everything really well. Sadly, they aren't very portable like the rest of my pairs though. Electrostatic headphones operate at a very high voltage and require a power box. Thankfully, the cable is hilariously long so you aren't limited to just sitting at your desk to listen. No, 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 no. I can actually sit on my couch in my office and be plugged into my desk at the same time with these things. Apart from my headphones, my whole office is actually a speaker setup too. I have two pairs of speakers attached to my computer through my Mackie Big Knob as a source. The first pair is the speakers I use at my computer, the M-Audio BX5s. These are a great pair of monitors that have a pleasing tone. Not too flat like the Yamaha speakers, but also not too pronounced. I use them for 80% of my listening at my computer and a lot of editing of these very videos. Alongside these though are the much bigger speakers that are made for the room. These are the the Vandersteen 2Cs connected to a power amp after the Mackie. They are huge speakers with three drivers that do a great job of producing music in this space. I love these speakers a lot and I spent a lot of effort and time setting them up properly and treating my space so that when you sit in the middle of my couch and turn them on, it really sounds like a live concert. The soundstage is expansive and accurate and the bass is nice and deep. I actually have a subwoofer in the corner picking up all the bass sounds that the big speakers can't handle by themselves. This all leads to a heart pumping and floor shaking experience that I'm sure my neighbors love just as much as I do. Cribs. <sighs> MTV Cribs. I have, so the speakers uh, do a thing. So I put foam here and here, and um, back here and the corner and uh, on the ceiling. Beefy Cribs.
But yeah, that's my headphone and hi-fi collection for 2020. I really love all the different ways I have to listen to music and hope to make more in-depth reviews of each one of these products as well as others in the future. So be sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. Do you have any headphones or hi-fi gear? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear what people are using for their setups and I think it's super cool to see the various solutions people come up with. Before we go, I just wanted to give another shout out to my wondrous patrons. You guys are the absolute best and make each one of these videos possible possible. If you would like to support me or just get your name featured on the screen at the end of the video, now you can. Tears on my patrons start at just three bucks a month and every little bit helps me rise higher and higher until I finally burn up due to my proximity to the sun. We have a private patron only discord as well as BTS videos of each of these videos. So if that interests you, consider donating. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as at the Will Hirsch. I post ballast song photos and photos of my headphones as well as BTS content. That's the best place to stay in the know of what I'm up to. Remember, you can also follow my camera guy as at the Brandon Baker on Instagram. He posts awesome photography and videos all the time and only eats once every two weeks. No, it's not time. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go exercise the hell demons out of Brandon. Come on, Brandon. Get it, brother. Get it, brother. Get those demons out. Oh, yeah. Hit it.